Hello, YouTube. Okay, so somebody asked me to talk about um, being gay and having Asperger's. All right, um, where do I start with that? I can tell you one thing that was a little bit complicated for me was how dudes always have to like lie their ass off to talk about how straight they are, which I find really, maybe not weird because I'm used to it, but just very annoying. People are all like, like I saw one guy in high school say like, that this guy had a big dick that he saw, you know, he happened to see it in his pants when he moved and it jiggled or whatever, and he's like, told Max that he had a big dick and he had to validate that he would, I'm not gay or anything after that, and all the weird things that, <sighs> having Asperger's made me very, very naive when I was a kid, and um, it was hard to notice subtle things, like people having to lie to save face, and people passing hints and things like that. So that was something that was a little bit weird for me with being gay and having Asperger's. But um, I also know that when I was growing up, I, I thought I was, I, I thought I liked girls for a long time. And as far as being gay goes, it sexuality is a continuum and that's not something that everybody understands. They think like, oh, you're gay, oh, you're bi, oh, you're straight. Like there's always just like one, one set of it, but um, what is it, the Kinsey scale that says that we're all supposed to be between one and 10 somewhere? Like we're all in the middle somewhere. And I know that for me, I had the emotional pull towards women. Um, like for a big portion of growing up, I, I had the big crushes on girls, all the emotional stuff with girls. I would blush around girls. I would think, you know, she was so pretty and all of the fuzzy emotional feelings and all that stuff. But the thing was, was um, I would jack off thinking about dudes. <laughs> But I didn't really put together that that made me gay, and and I felt like I wanted to be with girls. All of the other aspects of relationships sort of felt on women for me for a long time, and it took quite a while to figure out that what is it? It was around 15 where I started to really feel like lonely for for male affection, and um, just desperately needed hugs from men, and just physical support from men. And, started joining Christian stuff where guys hugging guys was okay and I needed that kind of support. I needed that kind of encouragement. Um, anyway, so that's a little bit about being gay and having Asperger's and, and how that was difficult to figure out and how I essentially had two coming outs of sorts because there was less known about Asperger's at the time and having mild autism and the ways that it's different and the ways their head is wired different. and. Um, I understand it a great deal now on both things. I, I feel like I have a good grasp on human sexuality and and having autism and, and, and processing things differently. But, um, you know, growing up, I was really lost. You know, people that are the middle kid usually have ignored problems. For me, I was the third of five. Um, second of four boys in five years, and I had an older sister that was ten years older than my dad had. And... Um, the oldest and youngest usually gets the attention and the things with me, a lot of the times, you know, not to insult parents, but they were just kind of brushed off. Like I, I had asked for something like, like I had back problems and I really, really wanted to get some help for it. And they'd say, Oh, it's not normal for a kid to have back problems. Like they wouldn't want to do anything about it. And it's like things like that would happen all the time where things were brushed off. You know, the middle kid, like, you know, Marsha's little sister, Jan or whatever, just ignored. Um, so I sort of was on my own. I had to figure out being gay by myself. I had to ask other people questions. I, my, my, my wonderful gay Spanish teacher, I asked some questions too, for instance. Um, and as for Asperger's, um, that was really confusing because I was like crazy ass bipolar all over the place, like mid-teens. Um, I, I had insane insomnia and like couldn't sleep at night sometimes at all. Um, I had crazy, crazy obsessive compulsive stuff going on where I would obsess on something for way too long and all sorts of weird OCDs that I had. Um, and so all that stuff I thought was like unique to me. It's not unique to me. All those weird shit was um, totally Asperger stuff. It was all Asperger stuff. Um, that wasn't unique to me at all. If you just go to the Wikipedia Asperger's page, they have like a million different little nuances of what Asperger's is. And every single one of those things I've experienced in my life, like, well, everything that was unique to me, I felt was unique to me, is on that page somewhere. Maybe not everything to apply to me though. But I was on my own. Like, I really believed that that was just me. But it's not. It's just neurotypical people think in a different way than Asperger's people. For Asperger's people, for instance, you can't talk to them with 
a radio on in the car, I have to politely ask, please can we turn the radio off? Because I can't pay attention to the thing that they're saying because I can hear every, neurotypical, pe neurotypical people can separate sound, Asperger's people, autism people can't. They hear everything all at once. They process it completely differently. So, I mean, there's certain things you just have to keep in mind and they have to learn and they have to just inform people a little bit about. But, you know, I'm considered high functioning. 20% of Asperger's people grow out of it. And I feel like maybe I'm in that 20%. Maybe I have a little bit of it left or whatever. You just sort of have to, you know, learn that some things might be normal to you but rude to other people. I used to ask people way too many questions, like rapid fire all at once and not ever say anything other than a question for quite a while and didn't realize what that was like to the other person and you know things like that you have to learn that it's rude. Anyway, so I was asked to talk about Asperger's and being gay more and so there's some information. Let me know if you want to know anything else. Okay, thanks. See ya. Bye.